Alright guys, the second thing that... Alright guys, the second thing that... Shagan. How much muscle weight can you gain over a year? And the video is for those naturals wondering how much muscle weight can you actually gain throughout a year process. And for starters, uh, I need everybody to be aware that everyone is different, that my genetics are different than your genetics. I went and did my own research, you know, because I wanted to put this content out for you guys. So. The first thing I realized is that there's three things that really matter before this. The first thing is, how long have you really been lifting? If you notice that I keep looking down, it's because I took SM notes, which I haven't done since I left school on this topic, and I spent some time doing research. Anyway, to begin, right? Somewhere in this video, you're going to see a graph that's called Lyle's graph, uh, Lyle's McDonald's graph, or something like that. Lyle was a bodybuilder, he's a coach, he's been in the industry for like over 20 years, he's written books, uh, he's done research on this topic, and I consider him one of the best researchers I can go to when it comes to this topic, as he has way more knowledge than I do when it comes to how much muscle weight can you gain throughout a year. Uh, if you're looking at the graph, you're going to notice that throughout the first year you can gain up to 20 to 25 pounds and through your second year of lifting you can gain 10 to 12 pounds. Your third year is when things start to slow down a bit and that's when you can only gain five to six pounds and then from your fourth year and, and on it becomes a uh, two to three pound a year why does it even get why does it get harder uh to get to gain muscle weight throughout your process well let's just say we don't want to have meeting hulk walking around the streets and so due to that nature decides to set some type of limit right um I just want to let you guys know if you're just starting to lift and you see those 250 pound bodybuilders, no they're not natural, forget it, that's no way near natural, your body can't naturally produce 250 pounds uh, or 243 pounds of muscle and being at 8 or 7% body fat at that weight, not natural, forget about it, not natural. Going back to my topic, now that you've seen the graph, and it's probably somewhere in here because I'm going to leave it so that you guys can continue watching it, as I talk, I want to, uh, I want to address the three points that I want to talk. Number one being how long you've been lifting, because this point has a lot to do with how much weight, muscle weight you gain throughout the process, because a newbie, as we can see through Lyle's graph, he gained 20 to 25 pounds of muscle and that's only like an average okay you can gain less or more it depends on your genetics that's where genetics come in not just genetics your age if you're 40 years old you're likely not going to gain 20 to 25 pounds more of muscle you're likely going to gain less than that you know if you're 13 if you're 20 years old you know you're, you're, you're most likely, and you've never lifted a weight, and you start going to the gym your first year, you're most likely going to gain 20 to 25 pounds. It's because a newbie can make huge gains. The reason being is their body has to literally evolve, thank you Darwin's Law, to be able to continue to lift the way it's lifting. And the thing is, it can't continue to gain that much because evolution happens and our body, our muscles evolve strong enough to continue to lift that weight. 
which is why when somebody tells you you want to make gains, you got to go on a, on a surplus and you got to go on and your lifting program has to change, you know. Also, people that have advantage on gaining more muscle weight are the skinny people, the under underweight people, the people who are under eating, you know. If you start taking your lifting properly and your nutrition properly, you're more likely to gain 20 to 25 or more pounds per year, uh, for your first year, I mean. All right, guys, the second thing that has a lot to do with how much muscle weight you gain throughout a year of, of training is nutrition. You're not going to be making gains if you're not eating enough, okay? I don't care. I don't care how hard you're training. You know? If you're not, if your nutrition is not right, the thing is, you can be very consistent training your first year. But the truth is, if you're not, if you're not eating enough to not only lift but to build more muscle to, be, to become bigger, to eat enough meals, you know, then you're not going to be making the gains. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just the truth. If you're not eating enough, you're not, you're not going to be making the gains obvious you know so nutrition has a lot to do with how much muscle weight you gain throughout the year uh, so in my opinion if you're just starting out into the fitness or into get into fit, fitness and you're 18 to 25 percent of body fat uh, you can kind of estimate this estimate you know especially these high numbers because it's a range it's not really a specific number you're supposed to look for but if you but if you're in the range of 18 to 25 percent body fat or more you know i would recommend you to start a cut and during the cut you'll still be making gains if you're a newbie because newbies are special like that you make gains no matter what you touch a dumbbell you make a gain you know that's just how newbies are like you make the gains because your body is going to start changing now the thing is, the reason why I'm saying that if you're a newbie and you're 18 to 25 or more percent body fat to cut down is because you want to shred the fat right now. You want to get to your base, you know. You'll still lift and you got to make sure that, and, and during your cut, you'll start seeing your body change. But the, And then that way, next time you decide to bulk, bulk up, you'll be able to actually cut back down, you know. Don't bulk up even more. If you're weighing, if your body fat is at 18, 25 or more percent body fat, because then you're just going to be getting fatter and fatter. And then the fatter you get, the less motivated you'll get, you know, it's just, you'll end up in trouble. My personal recommendation, you don't have to do this if you don't want, but I recommend you to cut down first. Cut down first, and once you're satisfied with your base, then you can bulk up. You'll still make the gains in your cut because you're a newbie. Um... And then once you decide to bulk up, you'll be even making you'll be make making even more gains, you know. So if you're if you're 18 to 25, you know, cut down. If you're between 9 to 15 body percent fat, uh, then I would recommend you to bulk up. Uh, actually, make it, make it 9 to 13 body percent fat because then you you're already very lean, you know. You're probably very small if you're a newbie. Because I don't think naturally you can weigh 200 pounds at 9 body percent fat. So you're probably weighing around 130, 140. So it depends on your height. Height has a lot to do with it too. If you're from 9 to 13 body percent fat, get to a bulk, you know. Start eating those 8 meals a day. Start lifting heavy. Start getting in a program that will help you make gains, you know. You can find those anywhere, literally. You can literally find a program that'll help you gain weight or gain uh, strength. Strength will make your muscle become stronger. Stronger, your strong, your muscle will have to uh, break down, come back stronger. That means bigger muscle. You know, you're setting yourself up for a good bulk. So, nutrition is a big part when it comes to how much weight you can gain, uh, how much muscle weight you can gain. During, um, in a year finally the last thing is genetics guys the genetics 
it's what I have learned is what I have first what I have personally learned is you never really know the limits to your genetics until you reach the limits and I know that sounds weird but it's that's the truth you know like you don't know how far your genetics will go until you reach those like five to six years of training maybe seven years of training and now you're only gaining three or two pounds per year and you know you can continue pushing it but you got to realize like eventually it'll slow down even more and more and more until you reach that point where you're not really doing anything more yeah sorry that's as far as your genetics go like I said this is for naturals only if you want then you can hop on something since this topic like I said is for naturals don't expect to be a ripped 150 pound Arnold Arnold wasn't even natural for those who didn't know but the truth is, you know, like don't ex don't set yourself those expectations to look like the 250 pound body builders who are ripped and at seven but seven percent body fat. Because the truth is, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. And coming from me, it sucks that I'm saying this because I'm super like motivational and like don't set mental barriers or don't set don't set mental limits. You know, like limits are just like a mental thing. But the truth is, guys, your body will only take you so far uh, for you to be healthy. So, I mean, your body will only take you so far naturally. You know, you can you can get to be 250 pound bodybuilder, but chance you're not doing that naturally. You know, at that point, you're you're got you gotta hop on something. So, as of right now, if you don't know how how far you are into your genetics, check. Lyle McDonald, Lyle's McDonald's graph. Look at how long you've been lifting. Look how much you have left uh, pounds to make, you know, for the year, for a year. And then, you know, just keep lifting hard, you know. But like I said, genetics play a huge role. So don't worry if, like, you're on your third year and suddenly you actually gain 10 pounds of muscle, you know would be really rare but you know it's not impossible because I have genetics genetics nobody has control over those so you know don't be like surprised if that happens to you if you you can get this with some really great genetics but it can be the other way around you know what if you're on your what if you're in your second year and you don't even make the 10 10 to 12 pounds range of, uh, of muscle weight and you only make five pounds yeah it's not like your genetics you know you gotta be happy with your body that's the thing because the truth about bodybuilding is yes you see the big image yes you see the huge ripped bodybuilders but the thing is like you're doing this especially if you're natural you're doing this to reach your best potential of yourself naturally you're doing this to see how far you can take your body naturally. You know, you're not doing this to be the 250 pound Arnold, you know, because if you are doing that, I recommend you hop with something. Not right away, but as soon as you see your limits, your natural limits kicking in. So yeah guys, three things that affect how much weight you can gain throughout a year. The number one being how long you've been lifting. Because newbies can make gains more than anybody else. Fucking newbies. Number two is your nutrition, guys. Nutrition has a lot to do with how much you gain throughout the year. And number three is genetics. And that's it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be doing these, you know. I actually, this was a random video. So, this is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it became helpful and educatable. I'll make sure to do some of these every once in a while where I just do some research on certain topics. Let me know if you guys want any topics you, I want, you want me to talk about. I'll make sure to do that for you guys. Another thing is, don't forget to subscribe as I will be continuing to push, this, uh, push content throughout this whole time. Uh, but yeah guys, I hope you guys are having a great day.